welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys are here, it's so fun. So as you know, I'm a celebrity stylist. I'm also a personal stylist. And when I go into people's wardrobes, you know what I find the biggest problem is? The reason that you have a hard time building your wardrobe and finding something to wear is that you're lacking the basics. Honest to goodness, number one reason. I can almost guarantee it every time I get that phone call or the email that I need you to come see my closet, I already know what it is. It's that you do not have the basics. So that new shirt that you bought, that new skirt, that new dress, you don't have the shoes, the clutch, the jacket to go with it. It's almost impossible to put your wardrobe together without the basics. One of them you may not think that you need, but you actually do. So today I'm gonna show you the top basics that you need to make your wardrobe work for you. Come on with me and I'll show you. Okay, so I'm gonna fly through the basic items that you need in your closet. I need you to pay attention because there's a lot of them and some of the most important ones are at the very end. So hang in there with me. Number one, a silk tank. A white silk tank, actually. So this is a quality basic for your wardrobe. You, it's not your average cotton tee. This is where you're gonna go to the restaurant and you wanna just be dressed in something casual. You can throw on a white silk tank. It can be crop, it can be long. It doesn't matter what it looks like, but something like this needs to be in your wardrobe. Number two, a basic white V-neck tee. Again, it doesn't matter the brand, it just matters that it fits you and it's crisp and clean. If you don't have a classic sharp white tee, go out and get one. This can go with your jean shorts, it can be dressed up with a blazer and skinny jeans to go out at night, and it can also be worn to the beach. Number three that you must have in your closet is some sort of black blazer. Personally, I like the ones that are deconstructed. When I say deconstructed, I just mean that the shoulders aren't structured, it's a little more loose. So this one is very easy to wear. It's kind of like a dressed up sweater because this will actually go over a cocktail dress at a wedding. It will also go with boyfriend jeans, Converse, and a white t-shirt. It is an amazing must-have piece in your wardrobe. Number four is a white blazer. I pair it with jeans, I also pair it with dresses, it's fantastic. It's just one of those staples that's really good to have in your wardrobe, a white blazer and a black blazer. The next thing that you must have, of course, is a little black dress. This is a great piece to have in your wardrobe. Again, it can be worn with gladiators out in the summer, or you can dress it up and put it on with a leather jacket or a blazer and wear it to a wedding. This is one of my favorite pieces to have. While I hold on to this, I'm just going to show you the next piece that you need to have, and that is a leather jacket. So this is a leather jacket, this is mine. All these tools are mine, so now you're going to see a little peek in my wardrobe. Um, this is one of my favorite leather jackets that I have. Everybody needs a leather, or if you're not, if you don't like leather, go for pleather. Uh, jacket that you can throw on. Like this goes with the little black dress. It also goes with what I'm wearing, little leather jacket. The next one, now that I'm into jackets, a jean jacket. You can wear it with white jeans and a white tank. I often will roll up the sleeves. I find that's just a little more comfortable. Um, you can wear this with dresses, like a little floral dress with some flip flops. If you're going somewhere and it's slightly cool when you start in the morning, it's just a great piece to have. It really will go with everything. Looks great in the fall as well. Flannel shirt, long sleeve peeking out the bottom, amazing. Jean jacket, you need to have one. So for spring, summer, you have to have in your closet a little white dress. I love this one. It's long sleeve, I've worn it in Palm Springs, I wear it like in the summer here, wherever I'm traveling, it's actually great. Tall boots, short boots, and it's actually really good festival wear. The next thing I'm gonna get into jeans. Currently, I'm in love. I love the Levi's high rise. White denim is always super fun and great to have in your wardrobe, especially spring, summer. So now this is like a blank canvas. You can literally add any top that you want. When I go into people's homes and their closets, I'm like, okay, show me your black skinny jeans. Blank look. No black skinny jeans. It's so tragic. So what you do need in your wardrobe if you don't have a pair, spring, summer, winter, fall, 100% of the time. So these you can actually wear to the office with a tucked in dress shirt, a belt, some flats, and a blazer. And then if you wanna go out and meet your friends for drinks, you can throw on a pair of heels and a leather jacket, same jeans. They work with everything. Another one of my favorite things that you need to have in your wardrobe, I would suggest, this is mine, it's a blanket scarf. I've actually done a video on how to tie a scarf, it's pretty cool. But, so this, so great for the summer. You can use it as a blanket at a table. If you're going out, you have a dress on, you can throw it over your shoulders. If you're cold, if you're traveling, it works as a fantastic cover up from in the plane. I personally use this one all the time when I'm traveling. I just stuff it in my tote. 
A tote is a must have for everybody. If you don't have a tote in your wardrobe, you probably are having an issue. Invest in the best quality purse that you can. It's something that's very basic. Next item, since we are talking about purses, something that you really need is a cross body, medium sized bag. It has two pockets, so I often put my phone in here and my wallet in there. It has enough room to be like doing errands for the day or shopping, and I can be hands-free. The final thing that I want to tell you is, and this is for all of you out there, and you'd probably never guess that I would talk about this, and then we're gonna move on to shoes, so stay tuned for the shoes. It's really important, actually, to have like a cute, to have a cute pair of joggers. I wear these, and you know what I actually wear them with? I throw them on with my little Nike runners, a white t-shirt, and sometimes a jean jacket. I get so many compliments. I get tagged and asked all the time where I got these. But I'm doing another segment on that, actually, how to look cool in casual clothes. So you'll have to watch that one. Another thing that you need in your wardrobe that you probably don't realize is finishing an outfit is a little black clutch. I have used it when I'm shopping. I actually put this in my tote. And then when I go to shop, I pull it out and use it as a crossbody so that I'm not don't have a big heavy um, bag on my shoulder. But I've also used this um, going to an event. I just tuck the chain in. I use it um, as a as a clutch. So a lot of the time when you guys are getting ready to go out, you have high heels on, skinny jeans, blazer, shirt, and you feel a little unfinished. A clutch would go really well with that outfit. An everyday pair of shoes. Any type of little white sneakers is actually great right now. Pair them with your skinny jeans, jean shorts, skirts, dresses. Uh, they're a perfect mom shoe and they're very trendy right now. So any type of little white ones. I've seen so many different types, but this is these are the ones that I have. Moving along to another pair of runners, another thing that's really trendy is just a pair of like black joggers. Jeans, leather jacket, t-shirt. I wear these. And I also wear them with uh, leggings and workout wear. So, multi-purpose. Um, of course, another pair of runners because I'm a runner's girl. I have these, the slip-on runners. This is a great thing to have in your wardrobe if none of the other kind of uh, runners work for you. If you're maybe a little more dressy, you're not comfortable in wearing um, a more casual pair of runners, a, these are like a dressy runner. So a pair of slip-on runners, a must-have in your wardrobe. Any pair of uh, shoes that kind of stand out that are still comfortable. So when I have to be a little more dressed up, I actually wear these because I can still work in them because they're flat and when I'm on my feet for like 15 hours, I need to have flat shoes. So I like them, but, um, and they're a little more dressy and they kind of got some pizzazz, so it's fun. I am shocked at how many of you don't have a plain pair of black booties. I'm not kidding. I would say 80% of the closets that I go into I don't have black booties, so you really need a pair. These actually go with shorts. You can wear them to concerts. They go with dressed up with jeans, with a leather jacket, with a dress. And so I always say get the plainer the better because then you can wear them with anything. They can dress up or down. The number one thing that I love to have is a pair of nude pumps. I've actually worn these when I'm working and they're super comfortable, they don't fall off. It, it doesn't matter what type of nude pump that you have, but you do need a closed toed nude pump in your wardrobe. It doesn't matter where it comes from, the look is what matters, and as long as it's comfortable for you, you have to be able to wear it. So a nude pump, put that on your list. Every client out there will tell you that they I've made them buy these shoes. I love them. Um, I feel like they look so good with your little white dress and a jean jacket in the summer. They also look fantastic with jean shorts and a tank. They're just um, a very classic, easy to wear, dressed up shoe. So a, any type of strappy shoe will do. For my secret stylist tip, since we've just talked about basics, what I wanna tell you is the easiest way to elevate your basics if you're just wearing basics like I do most of the time, white t-shirt and jeans is to add any piece of jewelry, even a single necklace with a white shirt, black tank, plain dress will actually dress you way up. Could be a single ring, could be a bracelet, you know, whatever you want. Or if you like a lot of things, you can put a lot on. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. As you know, those are the fundamentals that you need for your closet. I hope that if you make a list for yourself, go through your closet and get out there and buy a few of those basics, that you will find that your wardrobe works for you way better. So make sure that you help your friends out, tell them what you've learned so that they know how to work their wardrobe. You sound like an expert. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the button down below, like, share this, 
hit me up with your comments. Let me know what your favorite pieces in your wardrobe that you can't live without.